second generation Quantum Dot OLED. We already know that it's given us a 77 inch model, but what else is different? Turns out, quite a bit. Welcome back everyone, I'm Caleb Dennison and I am visiting Samsung Displays booth at CES to learn more about the second generation Quantum Dot OLED panels that we're going to see in QD OLED TVs in 2023. This is not so much an iterative improvement as it is kind of a reimagining of an already great technology. If Quantum Dot OLED was producing the ultimate display, the ultimate TVs, the ultimate computer monitors, and many of us have said that's exactly what they did in 2022, well then, the game in 2023 is going to be even more hardcore. Let me show you exactly what I mean. So what you see right here is kind of the building block of the improvements that have been made to the QD OLED panels in 2023. And it looks simple, but it has a dramatic effect. So what you see on the left is sort of a mock-up of the Gen 1 uh, blue OLED compound that was used in the 2022 panels. What you notice on the right with the Gen 2, things are much, much brighter. And that is because of a higher efficiency. So that increased blue light output from that new efficient blue OLED compound may actually sound like a small thing, but it has this ripple effect that just kind of grows and grows and grows until ultimately we get to higher light output and higher color luminance. And this is a great example of that, right? So we have a red, green, and blue laser light source that's being captured by this camera and then displayed up on one of Samsung's new Quantum Dot OLED displays. And what I notice is that not only is the color purity and accuracy heightened on this display, very close to what I'm seeing in real life here, but also there is a capture of the reflected light from the background of this display up on the QD OLED, which is not something that I'm seeing on more conventional OLED displays. Okay, so let's get down to brass tacks. What is that higher efficiency of the blue compound, the higher luminance of that blue compound actually translate to? Well, don't forget that with a quantum dot OLED, that blue OLED compound is exciting red and green quantum dots. And the more luminance that blue compound puts out, the more excited those red and green quantum dots become. And what that means is higher color volume and higher color purity. And most importantly, higher color luminance. When we talk about how bright a display gets, it's not just about what the peak white can put out, it's about how bright the colors can be, individually and then also mixed together. Because as you can imagine, the brighter the colors are individually in the primaries, the brighter all of the different colors of uh, the palette become when you start to blend those primaries together. Now, let's talk about numbers. What does that turn out to be? Well, as you can see with the 2022 65 inch QD OLED here, it's already very vibrant and vivid. We've talked all about how wonderful this TV is all year long. This display, I should point out, depending on how it's implemented in the TV. Over here, we have the 2023 version. I'm just gonna step out of the way and you can have a look for yourself to see the difference. Not only is the average picture level heightened a little bit, but the colors are much more intense and much more vibrant than they were before. And what that results in is anywhere from 1500 to 2000 nits peak brightness capability. And again, that's not just in the whites, that's across the board with the colors which as far as I'm aware is an industry best. I mean, we're gonna have to do some testing to, to actually prove that that's the case, but I can tell you this right now, I haven't seen anything quite like this. Now I know there might be some concern that sure, the colors are super bright, they're super saturated, but are they accurate though? Because sometimes when you see super vibrant colors, there's almost this sense that like, uh, is that realistic? Is, is that accurate? Well, to show that indeed it is accurate or at least capable of accuracy, uh, Samsung has a display here that is impossible to show you because it's in a totally dark room, but they have a Sony uh, X300 mastering monitor, which is an OLED display, and they have that mated to a uh, 2023 QD OLED panel. Both of them have been calibrated to a D65 white point, and you can see 
one and the other looking dead similar. So yes, the answer is yes. The color accuracy is definitely there or at least capable of being there. It kind of depends on how the panel is implemented, how well you can calibrate it. And of course that comes down to how manufacturers handle that panel, but the potential is right there. The improvements on the new 2023 QD OLED panel also extend to the low luminance performance. And the bottom line there is that shadow detail is better preserved, probably better than any other OLED panel that I've seen thus far. Super exciting for not just movie watchers, but especially gamers where those details really matter. So those are all the improvements that have been made to the Quantum Dot OLED panels that Samsung Display is going to be producing in 2023 and then shipping off to various TV manufacturers, be that Samsung Electronics, Sony, or maybe even TCL. So we know what the potential of the panel is, but I wanna make something very clear. What the TV manufacturer decides to do with that panel is entirely up to them. I'm remembering when uh, the initial S95B came out, it was able to perform a certain way. And then it underwent a bit of a firmware update and that behavior of that panel in that TV changed a little bit, right? That's Samsung Electronics prerogative. Uh, Sony could do the same thing and any other manufacturer that implements Quantum Dot OLED might do the same. But we know what the potential is and it is much higher than it was before. And I think if we pay attention to the longevity uh, of, the, of the panel itself, it's higher efficiency, it's higher brightness capabilities. Um, there's a lot more confidence uh, that we can push these panels to their peak performance without worrying about their long-term uh, performance at all. So that is super exciting for the Quantum Dot OLED TVs that we're gonna be seeing in 2023. And I can tell you right now, having seen the S95C several times, including the one that's sitting right behind me right now, absolutely spectacular. Right now, I feel fairly confident that this is going to be uh, the TV to beat, at least the TV technology to beat, whether it's implemented by Samsung, Sony, or like I said, maybe TCL, we'll, we'll see about that. I'm so glad that we got a chance to come visit Samsung Display to really learn about what makes this TV technology so great and also so improved over 2022. It's looking like 2023 is going to be a very exciting year for televisions.